Everybody, welcome back to uh, Sid's Modded Life, Season 2, Episode 71, with me, Sid. And we're down here in the uh, mob spawning room because, well, I wanted to repair my stuff. And I started trying to do that and then remembered that it doesn't have mending on it. And, you yeah, know, I'm kind of stupid. But everything's repaired uh, and mending. I've been getting some strange drops from these. These guys dropped a couple of normal players' head. And, uh, of course... Herberine, I can be scary for uh, Halloween there. Um, although this is, I think this comes out after Halloween. So, yeah, forget I said that. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that is bizarre. Maybe, maybe that guy oh, got that because we're getting close to Halloween. I don't know. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've removed the switch from that lever from down there, moved it over here. So now we don't have to, we can just come in. This guy, glitch and uh, yeah what else right so the big the big 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 news is obviously we did a, a big made a big hoo-ha over the fact that we have oh, well uh, that skeleton's wearing a skull this hi bye we got this must be halloween then also a lot of heads Cool. Um, I never knew this was a thing. There you go. Skelly head. So I got a creeper head as well. And uh, yeah, very strange. Very peculiar. Let's go and have a look see who else we've got up here. Anybody interesting? I mean, these are all. I've got a creeper head of Skelly over there. Look. He's dead. And what we can, uh, what we found would be a, a skeleton-headed creeper. Um, I don't think we're going to get one of them though. Somehow. Hmm. Pow. Bye bye. Hmm. Well, that looks to be about as much fun as we're getting out of that feature. Um, which is not surprising. I didn't, I didn't expect that much fun anyway. Uh, bye. But yeah, so we, we picked up a few bits and pieces uh, from that. And uh, we are here with stuff. Now, let me explain the big exciting news. And get rid of some of this. I don't really need all those levels. And those. So, big exciting news is there's been an update. And I say for have updated the pack. The pack should be updated again on Forge. And you should probably see in this weeks before. I'm, I'm about two and a bit weeks ahead of myself now. So, yeah. But the big update was to Astral Sorcery. Which means that if I go and find the right box, the Astral Sorcery box, and place that down and grab the book. Apart from a uh, new look and feel for some items, the biggie is here perks <laughs> perks has been radically redesigned so whereas before we'd completed and done all of the um visio route plus one to maximum reach we've done plus what uh we've done that what uh that we've done all uh we've got then three so this is where we are currently, but if we were to there, we get plus two maximum life. This has all changed for 20% more mining speed, 10% uh, uh, gain experience by dealing damage, elemental resistance. So we could reset ourselves to a different thing, and then we can head off in this direction. And as you can see, we hit there. These these ones are what they call locked in. So once we got them the locked, you could uh, come over this now. If you come over to Avitas, then it's, you get increased life, 15% more life, increased life. So I can go over here and then I can start coming into the life kind of different distance. But I'm tempted to go there and reset uh, because I don't think the plus one maximum reach 
and gain experience by traveling the world. I mean, that, that does suit me, obviously. Over here, we're into, we can improve our armor and uh, elemental resistances. And and yeah, this is a huge. And then it doesn't stop there because once you get over to here, if we go, let's go down back down here, you can come over, there's more life. Life and armor, more life. Armor repairs itself a bit more. Do you dodge chance? Yeah, you know, it's there's so much going on here. Um, epiphanies are major things where uh, motion, other epiphanies are being unlocked without requiring a connection to the existing perks. But you've got, yeah, huge, huge, huge amount. Uh, I'm tempted to say to re reattune myself though. And that's just as well, because what I want to do, ignore the rest of the stuff we've got in here, what I want to do is I want to actually go and do a whole load of work on Astral Sorcery today. Um, now, I need to pull a few things together, which I'm just going to grab over here, and then I will see you over at Olympus. Actually, there's one more thing we need before... I still need to sort that out. Um, there's one more thing we need before we um, head over to Olympus. I So... One of the downsides to having, uh, hello, that's what, to having an automated system, I better get some torches on the bar, hadn't I, is um, quite simply, I need some of this, and the problem is, whenever I put this stuff into the system, it automatically goes and gets ground and uh, smelted so uh, wow this is spooky music um, so yeah we need to grab some iron ore and the the best place I can think of to find iron ore is down here I just need a stack or so I don't need a huge amount but um, needless to say I need to grab it I could have gone caving but why well, might as well come to the cave dimension and uh, see what we can find over here. Hello, world. Hi. We should probably uh, turn F7 on as well. That will make life considerably easier for us. I'm not going to worry about getting the other ores. I'm just going to get what we actually need. Um... Actually, we should get that. Because we're going to use a fair amount of aquamarine anyway, so... Uh, it would make sense. Uh, any more? Did I say any more aquamarine, or is that all of it? Yeah, the rest of it's random. Random eat all. That is not a torch. Neither is that a good place to place a torch. Um, yeah, so... Unless anything grippingly interesting occurs... I'm just going to grab myself a wee bit of uh, this. Back in a moment. All right, over at Olympus, and uh, I've done been doing a bit of work around the place. So let's show you. I have started to glass over here um, and give this the clouds. So that's quite nice. And and we're working in here, and, and I've basically brought that in. And we've glassed over here. I'm putting the trees in to keep those as we go, and, and as we go, we're getting further and further along building this in. So, the the blue dirt is all the way over here now, and all the way around. So, getting there steadily. Now, I have got some plans for a build over here. Um, using this, this thing here is going to get completely repurposed. So, that that's something for the future, not today. I have brought potentially the things we need to do it, but there you go. And what I have brought for this is, uh, well, cake. <laughs> I brought the last of the cake out the uh, storage system. There may be a little bit more by now, but, you know, there's uh, this has taken a while. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but... Now, Rorax has pointed out that if that these gems if they are maxed out would be faster um, and yep probably would be <laughs> uh, and faffing around with maxing out gems I did 
do some more blue gems and I made I basically made this so this is a 100 900 size 100 percent purity um, celestial crystal and so far it has made over 60,000 buckets of uh, starlight off its own back without breaking I am not going to jinx this and of course we've got an extra bit here so we can do that as well and we can start getting some of the um, the hoofer I brought these over because these aquamarines whilst I don't think they will work well, let's check I don't think they'll work in this I mean they'll go in will they work that's another question um, let's find out yeah so that one is 900 size with a purity of 85 that one is 900 with a purity of 94 and that one had a purity of 100 so yeah it's not having it is it which is pretty much as expected um, but that doesn't mean we can't use them in the crafting recipes which uh, is going to be we're going to be doing a lot of these parchment papers and a lot of other things as well so but before we do that we are going to need a lot of um, dust so we're going to need to get night time around it's midday at the moment however in the meantime i've got let me get the i've got a whole load of things uh, that is just things so i've got these are my building materials boxes we've got some concrete in there that'll become apparent but we have got a whole load of marble and what i want to do is i want to make the last element of this which is going to come out from here and i'm going to basically uh how do i let's let's try let's work this out shall we we are going to come over from there as uh, this is going to how just how many blocks is this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven <laughs> because odd is even odd is easier to deal with so if we curve this just a little bit so that if that was to go up half slab and then that was to go up one uh half a slab one and from here we go half a slab hang on no one better, better watch my uh <laughs> i keep on forgetting that this thing runs out this flight runs out so if we were to get that going as a kind of a shape coming out bridging over this gap here to another structure over here that might work let's uh, let's see how this goes then so I'm just going to do a little bit of planning obviously I need to go wait for night time to convert those um, blocks and uh, I could do with if I've not got any already I haven't got any on me I could do with some of those because those are what we're using for the edges so and again I don't think I want it to be quite as big as this so if we go one two three five one two maybe like that actually it would go like that wouldn't it anyway um, and then that will jut over the edge, I'm sure. But one, two, four, five, two, maybe one, two, five, two, three, four, five. Maybe that. Taz got the interesting thing going on down there. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to root this into the ground. I may curve it in so it's like a, ped, 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 a pedestal. A pedestal on that, yeah. Uh, anyway, let me just get this done and I'll be back in a moment. All right, it occurs to me I've been going around this transmuting dust all the wrong wrong. Sorry, transmuting iron ore all the wrong way. So I've just been back 
and I've got us some some supplies and we are going to uh, we need night time to do the full thing which is not far off but we can uh, we can get this going over here uh, that one's done obviously but so what I want to do is take that out of there and I'm just going to place that facing down it doesn't matter five inventory is more than enough we're going to have an auto placer uh, we'll do the auto placer on that side and we are going to have a controlled miner on that side we are going to whitelist star metal ore that's the only thing this thing can break it's going to be always on it's going to be a three by three with a height of one and we're going to give it this pick here which we've made specially for it and then we need to grab no we need to grab cables and drops and we're going to grab you and a bit of you that is no that's that is not what we want, we want one of them uh, and that is going to go there and we are going to go put it on there and done so it's got power it requires redstone we'll we'll do um thing now there is there's a possibility here actually that we could do let's think this through um so we've got your star metal ore you know about that uh white list preview blah 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 hmm I'm going to try something, but first things first, we need to go and take the content, some of the contents of this, and go and make ourselves another crystal. Because I want one. Um, so we're going to have one of them. We're going to have, let me get this right, it goes there, 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 and there, 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 and there, 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 there and there. No, maybe not. Hang on. Do we'll get there eventually? No, it's not that. Oh, he's got to be bloody attuned. Okay. Let's see if we can. We can. All right, well, that's going to take a hot moment, so I'll be back in a moment. Much better. Got that. All that is done. And... Apparently there were shooting stars as well in this now. <laughs> Mention reminded me. I've not really looked to see if I can see any shooting stars. Total eclipse. I wonder whether there were. Uh, I'm waiting for the op opportunity to find these last two constellations. Now, apparently, one of them crops up every on day 36, but I've got no means of telling when it's day 36. But apparently, it's the evening after an eclipse in the day. Ah, hello. Oh, that's cool. I don't know whether it actually gives us anything. Or whether you can see it in the telescope, for example. It's not looking like you can. But, oh, and now it's gone. Oh, well, well that's nice. It's a nice little effect, if nothing else. Uh, right, we need to then... Uh, I want to potentially change this around a wee bit. But we do need to get you get this on top of here. Ooh, what did I just do then? I think I just destroyed that. There we go, fixed. Uh, right, what was I doing? I was going to link that now. To, and we'll just put that block there temporarily and we shall link you to you and that should be good and that should have gone in there 
Excellent. Right. Right, right, right. Um, so what do we want to do? We want to... Uh, uh, I'm wondering whether we can actually... Require, is, is it going to be fast enough, though? That's the question. Let's just try something. Always on. And then that should be in there. Here it is. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Let me... Uh, Uh, how much juice I mean you can't be using that much let's just pile that and that in there so the idea is is very simple this will do its thing it will convert that um, and that will break it once it's done uh, what I would like to do is just see if we can't get that to work off a redstone signal now redstone as you all know is my real strong point so I'm not going to do this on camera. I am going to try and do this off camera so I don't completely destroy any credibility I had before, which when it comes to redstone, to be fair, and elytra, um, I, yeah, it's, I'm not fooling anybody. Okay, back in a minute. And that's it. <laughs> um, I couldn't do it the way I got it. If I, if I was doing it again, I'd, I'd do it in better spacing but basically when this transmutes to star metal that will give a pulse which takes which four ticks runs off that runs the power for that which breaks the star metal or before this can reset the redstone signal it places the iron ore which basically gives you that so in theory uh, and again we, we know we do this better there's six in there already let me just put the seventh in um, we can just leave that running for as long as this takes to run through those two stacks of iron ore, and we'll have four stacks of uh, two stacks of star metal, which will be four stacks of dust. Should I wish to grind it all up? Yeah. So that will work for us. Uh, and while that is doing its thing, I was hope hoping it would do it while we're while we're on thing i'll wait till night time i'll come back to this but in the meantime i'm going to continue on the build which is over here um and i've got stuff to do so i'm happy enough with that and like i say it's i mean it's, it's hardly rocket science redstone I, I i acknowledge that that is the case but um for me rocket science is uh would be you know well in bloody amazing to be honest because i am no redstone person so there you go uh, in the meantime these need to go and we need to obviously then build this in now this is all going to be horribly unlit so we'll probably have to glass under here as well just to get this properly done uh but such is life we'll get that done be back in a sec all right um Excuse the noise. That's built. Uh, I'm not 100% happy with the, the roof, but I wanted a roof that was open, but was more domed than than these. And rather than faff around, I, uh, I need to just get rid of my uh, window with the dome in it. I went with this. Uh, we've got a large open space for something. Now... I think it's about time we actually start building this thing. Uh, the the automatic thingy, the observer just wasn't working. I don't know why it worked some of the time, but it, it was thing. So I've just turned this on to automatic. And, uh, oh, we need to, obviously, we need to turn you off. Um, and that is happily chugging away up there. So, yeah, doing his job. Uh, let me just do the, uh, that while we're at it. And so what I want to build, if you hadn't guessed, which you might have done, you might not have done. Oh, my, oh, my perfectly attuned crystal has died after making only in the region of 100,000 buckets, uh, sorry, 100 buckets of liquid starlight. 
That's a pain. I've only got two of these selected. These aren't tuned, obviously. Um, right. What I want to start playing with is, I can't remember, I think it's in here, is the stellar refraction table. So we need to make one of these. For that, we're going to need to make infused wood. Uh, to make infused wood, we can do various things like that. Uh, and I am assuming... Um, we should be able to do now what do we, infusing materials empowers them the, the, the strength of all to have great value so here's the question oak or planks I did not on that box and I'm just going to look there let me just swap that back over and get this box here Let's find out, shall we? Well, it ain't that. So, next question. Chuck it in a bucket of water, a bucket of liquid starlight? I doubt that's going to be it. Surely not. Oh, maybe it is. Just throw it in there. See, your heart's content. It doesn't even seem to uh, use up the wood. I mean, the starlight. Excellent. Okay. Well, that was easier than I expected. So, infused wood, we can make a number of things with it. We can make infused wood things, but more importantly, Importantly, if we can find... Where are you? Let's find the entry again. We need to make these. That is made with those, and those are made like that. So we take one of those for... Uh, that should give us 12. And... Do we just do that? No, yeah, well, actually, they go like that. Okay, that was easy. Need a couple of resonating... Gems, we need some dyes and some stuff so we need. Okay, let me get those done and I shall be right back with you. All right, <laughs> I've been talking to myself for the last two minutes. I've crafted the table and I'm just reattuning myself. So I've crafted. Right, where am I? I've crafted the. Um... I crafted one of these, the Shifting Star, which is relatively cheap, to remove my affiliation with that one. And I've now got the uh, perks where we have got this one. And so we've got plus two, gain experience by building things. Suits me. I wish I'd done that earlier. Uh, and we'll take that, which will give us an extra five. And then that will be an extra five. And then 15%. So that'll be 30. So you can see straight away now we've got more life however that's not what we want to play with we want to play with this so this beast is the stellar refraction table and uh, we the two-part thing we can't do anything with it as it stands um so we are going to need to make a uh, some etched glass i think it's called let me grab you for a second. Uh, so, if we have a look at uh, glass, infused glass is two lenses, coloured lens. Now, that's what I brought. Um, one of these has got some stuff in it. Not that one. The other one. Um, I brought some things over to make the coloured lens. And, uh, yeah, so we need to go and make... If we have a look at the, you need the glass. The, the glass requires four more resonating gems, four stardust, and some lenses and bits and pieces. So we need three glasses, and then we need another glass and bits, whatever that may be. So we need three pieces of glass, a uh, mirror lens thing, and uh, other stuff, 
let me get that together and hopefully if I can un double click that ah oh, damn you come here oh just happened to happen to have three three glass waiting that's fine we'll uh, we'll get those going quickly and which is why you'll probably see that uh, why I wanted so much of the dust because thing um, we're going to require that going forward however yeah typical and we've got a spark as well right where are we I need a bucket oh did you eat my did you eat my bucket no you didn't uh, anyway, it's going to be another evening, so we'll we'll have to go to another evening before we can do this last bit. Um, but in the meantime, um, I need to re-top this off and make some other bits and pieces. So I'll get myself together, and I shall be back with you in a sec. All right, um, sun's going down, and hopefully we've got enough juice to do this so I think I've got everything I need now for this we're going to need to make one of these mm, thank you and then using that and those let me get the uh, the glass I can't remember the recipe now the that and that okay with that 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 and that and that 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 and that will make us one of those now we're going to need a lot of these um, but I want to test something with this now this is this is an interesting one because eventually We'll get the infused glass now infused glass is an uh, instrumental part of this thing here and basically you pop that in and you can see the various um pelotrio buets visio vitas so what we need to do is we need to have a play with um, this and what we're going to do and try and find if I go back to the constellations, Amara is shield or protective barrier. So it will basically, that's protection. Um, whereas Avitas is healing uh, and growth, if I remember rightly. New growth from injury, mending equipment is great in healing the living. So what you can do with this, you can make two things. You can make enchanted books and you can make potions. Um, and now what we're going to do is we I'm, I'm going to go with Amara. So we drag it onto there and they've got parchment. That's just plain astral sorcery parchment. And what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm just going to do three all the same. We got away with it. We've got engraved glass is Amara and, and that is it. And we should be able to then use this I, don't know, I think you thought you were supposed to be able to take that out but if we are I'm missing the thing now what we need I haven't got on me which is a book or a potion let's go and grab one of those I'll be back in a moment all right we're back um, I'm rushing because obviously I've got to do this at night and I don't want to have to wait another night to do this so let's start off and try a potion Why do, where the hell did that go? Hmm. Yeah, I can. Ah, there we go. And then we should be able to place that in and it will get zapped. And eventually we'll end up with a potion. Uh, it's just a water bottle, there's nothing fancy there. And we ended up with resistance three for five minutes. That's actually not bad. Bearing in mind that was free. 
Now, before we go and have a look at anything else, that's because ideally you want to do this at midnight as well. Um, there's not a huge amount of any durability loss on that, but if we were to do a book, let's see what we get out of that. And the different constellations have different effects, so, and you can combine them. I'm, only, I'm just trying for a very specific effect right now. So again, we've got that, and if we take you out, that is protection five. Now, what's that you say? Protection five, but you've protection four is the highest you can go, isn't it? No, you can go higher. Sharpness seven is possible with this as well. Um, however, there is a, a drawback to this. This thing takes durability damage, and it, the observant amongst you will have spotted something in my inventory. Now, I don't know whether this will work. I haven't got a power source over here, so we'll just go and borrow this. But if this will work, this means we can make overpowered magical books and items. Um, this is not staying here, by the way. Oh, that is sick if this works. It appears to be working. It's going to cost power, but again, power we can reproduce reasonably uh, cheaply. The question is, does this actually work? Work? I mean, it's pulling power. Let's give that a moment and see. It's hard to tell what's going on here, but you can't. You're waiting, obviously, on this progress bar to move along. Let's see how that goes. I'll be back in a sec. All right, that was taking a long time. <laughs> question is there are many ways of repairing things now this these this doesn't have an option you can put on breaking on on breaking on it to reduce the damage i presume and that is about it what about chaos nodes again it's difficult to tell because there isn't a bit, once these have all gone there this is the one that's going to take a the bulk of the lion's share they're repairing but again i can hang around here all day um i don't think it will repair in there which is a shame but that's not a problem we can uh, hover around these fellas and see what's what i think these might be faster and better than the um than the electric the than this because this is pretty expensive um but we'll see. I'll be back in a mo. All right. The item repairer was definitely too slow and also pretty expensive. So we're going to put you back where you belong. And I don't think you. Were, in fact, I'm going to take you out. We don't really. We don't need you in there. And we, if you're not there, you're guaranteed not to be drawing power. However, we do have, in fact, I don't really need that. We do have this. This is the the diamond powered anvil, which that is pulling power. Is it actually doing anything? See, the thing is, I don't know what the actual unit of measure. These are supposedly good for about 10 users but if it's like a chisel where they're giving it a durability of say like 200,000 or 500,000 and then every time you use it we take 10,000 off or something stupid like that then that means the repair costs go up considerably but that is doesn't appear to be doing much and then we've got this the magma anvil which you basically you put lava in and it repairs stuff um, now obviously we're not going to be able to do that here but we should be able to find some lava somewhere in the world surely uh, hmm anywhere near in the world there's some over there actually so yeah let's go let's just go and try that out and have I got a bucket I have and uh, We'll head over, can't be that far. 
as the elytra flies. There it is. Woo! Getting quite good with the elytra now. Okay, well, better. Nowhere near. Nowhere near any kind of real quality, but, you know, better. Better than... I heard you. Better than I was. Uh, we should probably also sleep. Much as, you know, we don't really need to. But yeah, um, I'm just trying to see if there's any way to fool this system. And I've still got one thing left in the uh, in the options line. So, which we, if we this doesn't work, we shall... Uh, we shall try. Takes ten buckets. That's five. Ten. What I should actually do is I'm just going to. Uh, Close a whole load of stuff because I'm uh, I'm sat here. I've got a load of windows open. I can't actually see if I'm even recording or not. And uh, no, my look, I'm not. So what we'll do is we'll close all of that lot and uh, I am actually recording. Yay! Whoops. Hello. Right. What do we want? One more. Go. Do something. Oh, it really, they've definitely thought of almost everything, I think. Yeah, I think they've thought of pretty much every trick that I could throw at it. I mean, that barely seems to have affected it. Well, that is the answer to that then. Um, you know, we are, I'm not, how do I, yeah, hang on, uh, oh yeah, wow, my first standing launch, <laughs> I've never done that before, believe it or not, anyway, um, that doesn't invalidate the value of having a system where we can enchant things which are so obviously op um now <laughs> and it's just as well we've got extra life because i'm going to bloody need it if i'm going to fly into things like that but um yeah on that note i think we're going to call it an episode we uh i'm happy with that we're going to have to build a lot more of these engraved glasses and all sorts of stuff going on there that's going to use all of the things but we'll be able to really i think push this to to hopefully a new height now obviously that is there we can take those out and uh, i'm guessing this probably won't work in the daytime yeah it won't but again this gives us new ways of making potions so and we can play around with those to heart's content really we'll get this area dressed up a little bit more as well and uh and as we go forward, you know, we'll, uh, we shall be good and happy. But until next time, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you soon. And bye for now.